Hey, y'all, it's Dean Thomas, Tyron Woodley, the Morning Wood Show with these nuts. And uh, Tyron, we back, man. We we back doing our thing, homie. We back. And speaking of these nuts, these nuts out here freezing in St. Louis. I know you, the Floridian, um, all nice and tropical down there, but we got negative one, negative five. And it's actually warm today because we got 33 degrees. Dude, let me tell you, listen, that's how cold it was in Florida. I mean, I didn't really get to experience much of it because I went to L.A. with you. But last week when the whole East Coast was under, you know, was frozen, uh, Florida was like in the 30s, man. It was like 35 degrees down here, man. And I was <laughs> that was something for all of us, man. We was out that's here tripping. for the world. So speaking of the world, man, so uh, let's let's get into some fight stuff. Cyborg, she beats Holly home for the, uh, you know, to to defend her belt. What First off, like, what'd you think of that fight? You know, I thought Holly Holmes, um, I didn't know what the judge was going to think. She was making a lot of bark. And mm -hmm. sometimes they score that. I didn't know if one judge might have said she won the fight. I thought yeah. she did well. I thought she she moves a lot when she punches. She already doesn't. Um, punch like a power puncher. She's more in out timing, you know, point fighting. But when you're moving as you're punching against Cyborg, though she was landing, she wasn't making the punches that were going to actually be uh, ones that do any significant damage. Um, yeah. I know where you're leading to with this. I do think Cyborg showed us that she can go five rounds. She showed us she can be patient. Um, it's like fighting a wheelbarrow. Holly Holmes yeah. just keep moving around. And she did yeah, a good yeah, job yeah. cutting her off, cutting her off landing some good punches and sticking to the game plan and waiting on the opportunity. Amanda Nunes is going to put that heat on it, though. Um, yeah. If at any time you saw, saw some vulnerabilities and saw some 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 uh, some chinks in armor where another fighter with better footwork, with more power that's heavier, could maybe have some success, Amanda Nunes. So I want to see the Lioness and freaking um, – and uh, Cyborg go at. I don't even know who who's this other guy to talk about. Leslie Smith or no, no, it's um Megan Anderson, and then there's some uh, other girl. Yeah, we good. Yeah, we good on that. We it's it's that. weird, you know, because you know for the longest time everybody's been saying, you know, that Amanda didn't want to fight Cyborg, and like I don't even I don't really know how that rumor got started, but it was something that was kind of like some unwritten thing, but just everybody thought that. But I was hanging out with Amanda two weeks ago. And I was at her crib, and she's like, hey, I want to fight Cyborg. She was like, I hope she wins. And it wasn't on no beef, but she was just like, in fact, she was like, I want to fight. Whoever wins the fight, I want to fight. I was like, you want to fight Cyborg? She's like, yeah, I want to fight Cyborg. I don't see what the threat is. And that's what she was telling me. And for me, that's like the first sign. Of like, And that's what I always look for is like a person who actually wants a certain fight. And for her to want that fight was like, I was like, hell yeah, let's get this fight. Because she is not, like, she doesn't see, like, the threat that everybody thought that was there for her. She doesn't see it. And I love that about Amanda when it comes to this fight. And I think that she presents way more problems than people think that, uh, that, that she's going to give, that she can give Cyborg. She definitely does. And I think, you know, Holly showed that you can have success for her. You can't. I mean, she was coming at her. She was amped up. She was coming for it. And she definitely, definitely, definitely put herself in a position to be successful. So I think that's a, you just take that blueprint and you go out there and you expound upon it. I think Amanda's that girl to do that. Yeah, and not only that, too, but uh, who was the other girl that she fought? Cyborg fought um, Tanya Evinger? Was it Tanya Evinger? Yeah, she just smashed yeah. her. Yeah, she smashed her, but Tanya hung in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, she was, yeah. she hung in there. She hung in there Isn't a that lot crazy longer. that Cyborg's that? That must have been savage that you get you get hood credit for hanging in there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Like that's, I gave that's her all credit. The way throw down. Yeah, and she took a lot of punishment too, man. But she hung in there, and I was just like, damn. But I was, but even at that moment, I was like, you know what? Amanda would have did a lot better. You know what I'm saying? Amanda would have did a lot better. And now I'm thinking, you know what? Man, I think Amanda gonna kick kick her ass. I'm looking for I'm yeah. looking forward to that. I mean, I mean, not to take nothing away from Cyborg, and I don't want to make it like, start no rumors, but uh, you know, saying that Amanda wanted to fight Cyborg. I mean, it wasn't you know on no beef shit, but it was just on the level of listen. She the champ, I'm the champ. Let's double down on this. She you know, Cyborg don't have nobody else to fight really that anybody's gonna really care. You know, about. the funny thing is, people think it's a bad thing to want to fight somebody because they're good. 
or they yeah. the champion or like no, I used to I wanted to fight Nick Nate, George, Jake Shields, Carlos Condon, Robbie Lawler. I like all those guys as a fighter. They don't yeah, mean that I didn't want where they were at. Yeah, that's it's what I'm just, saying. Like, it's just crazy right that people think you got to hate somebody or not like them, or if you ask them to fight somebody in a respectful way that is beef behind it. You know, I said on air when I was working Fox, I actually was um, an analyst on Fox when that when that fight took place. And they was like, oh, who do you think now? I said, you know what? I think Amanda. And I didn't even hear this conversation, Dean. I had no clue Amanda had interest in fighting her. And I was just looking at the matchup. I'm like, hmm, the things that Holly did well against Cyborg, Amanda would do better. She punches a lot harder. When she comes forward, she's going to sit down in that one-two or one-one-two or whatever combination she throws for. And she punches very long like a pure striker would. She could give Cyborg problems because Cyborg punches are hooks. The best way to beat a hooker is straight pipe down the middle. Shoot. Bam. Yeah, plus... Plus, Amanda's just, she's just a threat everywhere, too. I mean, you got to worry about so much with Amanda as far as, like, her grappling is world class. You know what I'm saying? She can wrestle. She's just a, she's a triple threat. And that's the one, like, when you deal with Holly, like, you don't have to worry about those things. Like, you, like Cyborg probably never had to worry about, you know, you know, getting taken down or anything like that. So, like, you know, it, like, on paper, I mean, it just, it looked great on paper. But I always thought that Holly didn't have enough in her arsenal to beat somebody like Cyborg, and it showed. I mean, she she fought a great fight, but she just didn't have enough in her arsenal. Yeah, I agree with you, man. I agree, and, you know, I think she did the best. She actually did more. She actually did more than um, anybody would have ever expected her to do, but she did the same thing against Ronda. Nobody expected her to go out there and smoke Ronda, so shout out to Holly. She's been in so many close fights, you know what I mean? I feel so bad for her. I she know you can't fight <laughs> against Nisha. She I know was in a close fight against Jermaine. She was in a um, closer fight than we would have expected against, um, you know, Cyborg. So yeah, she's a G. Yeah, you got you got to kind of feel for her that she's right there, but just can't really get past it, you know. And um, I mean, she's kind. I mean, and not to throw shade on on, on Kenny, but she's kind of like Kenny Florian. You know what I'm saying? Like right there, but just can't really get you know get a hold of it. You know what no, I'm saying? I ain't saying that with you. But you, you ain't saying that. Hell, uh, you gotta take that one by yourself, G. Hey, Kenny, go like, <laughs> Kenny, go like, I choked your ass out, Kenny. I, <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, you better stop. So listen, you are you going? Are you going to fight? You ain't finna get me on that UFC tonight that I'm be working um, <laughs> on two days from today. Him looking at me sideways. Nope. I know, but uh, so are you going <laughs> to fight this weekend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not calling the fights this weekend. I'll be at the fights because they're here in St. Louis, Missouri. Told, hey, I told you guys. St. Louis, we was getting the UFC, and the people are like, oh, you're not fighting on it. Oh my God, so your shoulders hurt, man. We wish you was fighting on it. You know what? I'm really glad I'm not because all my random long lost cousins from Auntie Myrtle McNaval would have came through, and they would have been trying to get tickets. And I just don't want that pressure. I just want to go out there and fight. I like fighting in Vegas. I like fighting in different cities that I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, would it be cool? to freaking be in my own house, laying down, you know, in my own sauna, cutting weight and making it a breeze. Yeah, that'd be awesome. But just the pressure going out there and, you know, smashing somebody's head in your own city with all these different requests. I'm good on it. So, but I will be at the fight to answer your question, you know, and um, it should be a good set of, set of fights yeah. out there. 